on a cold early, hold on, let's get it on my nerves here really quick. Okay, there we go. On a cold early morning, I headed out to, to this trail, the Cory Trail in the Auburn State Recreation Area, a trail I had done a ton, six miles out to a picnic area and six miles back. It's a popular trail and when I got there, I was all alone and immediately felt uneasy. Not about being alone, but something just felt off. I hiked this trail in the dark once and it was fun, so why was I feeling like I should turn around? A couple miles into the hike and the uneasy feeling increased to a feeling of impending doom. This is the Hover Cave. Discovered in the early 1900s, they found prehistoric animals in here. Woolly mammoths, saber-toothed tigers, just to name a couple. Over 400 bones have been found, and there's still more to find. They've even found human remains there, humans that lived 10,000 years ago. Shortly after discovering the fossils in this cave, this natural cave, they started to use it as a limestone quarry, and you can see the remnants of the structures they used to use for the limestone. The trail you use to hike to the cave is where the railroad used to be to pick up the limestone. The operation was eventually shut down and the cave was open to explore. When people could explore the caves, you hear all different kinds of stories from people just having a good time and it was fun to other people saying they witnessed stuff they couldn't explain and they would never go back. This trail has always been fun for me, but this day I felt fear and vibrations. I've been feeling really uneasy on this trail. I pushed on. I told myself I was being irrational. Later at home while editing the video, I found something. So I set my GoPro on this rock. I was setting up a shot to film myself checking out the cave. When I was here that day, I didn't hear anything but my footsteps in the river. It was quiet. Right here is where I'm trying to make sense of everything. I don't know why I feel like I'm being watched, like maybe somebody's in the cave looking at me and why am I feeling the vibrations? I'm trying to find a source. Then I heard something, something Big. It sounded like it came from the riverside and it ran into the mountains. The next turn I found fresh tracks that looked like mountain lion. The uneasy feeling, vibrations, mountain lion tracks, I should have turned back. So when I do most trails, um, I feel pretty good. I feel pretty safe. I don't know why I'm getting a really... Just getting a really weird feeling hiking this trail today. Been kind of feeling like I've been watched the whole time, which is really a weird thing to say, but it's kind of true. I've never really felt that on other trails before. Feeling a little eerie out here. Beautiful, a little eerie. Feeling uncharacteristically afraid, I got my bear spray from my backpack and put it on my belt. This is the first time I'd ever done this. I'd never felt like I needed my bear spray before and I'd hiked all over bear country. So I actually can't believe I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna get my bear spray out, put it right here. I've been getting really weird feelings out here. Uh, normally when I hike, I feel pretty good. Okay, hopefully uh, being ridiculous, but I'd rather have this ready to go than not. Like I said, I've just been feeling really weird. Almost like I'm being watched or something. Still feeling the vibrations and a feeling of fear, it started to get weirder. I started to hear voices in the forest. I figured it was just people hanging out in their backyards. That's the other thing too, I've been almost like Blair Witch. I've been hearing really weird. Almost like people are out here talking, but there's nobody here. But then when I got home, I did research and there's no homes in that area. Admittedly, I was freaked out pretty bad. With only about a quarter of a mile left to go to the end of the trail, I saw a sign that caught my eye. The vibrations, talking in the forest, mountain lion tracks, a sign stating aggressive animal in the area and hike at your own risk, I wanted out now. I turned around and sped walked back. I've never looked behind me or all around so much in my life. 
I felt like I was being followed and watched. I was really looking forward to getting there, except I've been getting really, really weird feelings being on this trail. And uh, you can see in the video my anxiety and borderline tripping over my own feet. Nearly six miles back felt like 20. I talked to the camera almost the whole way back just to try and stay calm. You know, it's kind of crap, and I will say this. That sign that I just saw about the aggressive animal, they should have that posted at the very beginning of the trail. When I got home the day of the hike, I chalked the experience up to there was probably a legit dangerous animal tracking me and that's what was causing the uneasy feelings. There are mountain lions in the area and people have been attacked. Then I read up on vibrations that can make us feel fear, anxiety, even hear things. After I posted the video, a bunch of people messaged me letting me know they felt strange in the area as well. Here's one of the comments I received. One of my favorite trails in the Auburn State Recreation Area. I did some exploring in that cave in 1999 when I was a teen. Just a couple months ago, I went up to the climbing area Cave Valley for the first time. About halfway up on a side trail, my girlfriend, her kid, and myself all felt this very strange brief vibration. Felt like when you drive over those rumble strips near the shoulder of the road. Did not feel like an earthquake, and I checked the USGS site, and there was no quakes anywhere near at the time. Weird. Thanks for the video. The frequency vibrations that cause feelings of fear are low, so low humans can't hear them. But could those vibrations be felt? Could they make a rock hum, hum to where my GoPro might have picked it up? Is this evidence that there was vibrations coming from the cave? But why did I continue to feel that way away from the cave? The cave has been and is still being explored by the Auburn State Recreation Area Canyon Keepers and they hope to open it for tours. Kevin Veach was a long distance hiker. He was hiking around Nellis Air Force Base and discovered a cave. He loved caves and entered. He felt vibrations, fear, and he left. He told people his story online and people egged him on to go find the cave again on camera. He went back out but couldn't find the cave. People called him a liar and he set back out determined to find it on camera. He was never heard from again. Bats used to live in the cave but are no longer here. It's said more than likely due to human noise or it's sound from something else. Despite this cave being extensively explored, they still say that rooms are more than likely yet to be discovered. So what do you guys think is going on here in the Quarry Trail? Have you guys been out here? Have you had anything weird happen to you? Is it an alien base? Is it natural? Is it people's imagination? Let me know what you think. Like, share, subscribe. Don't forget to check out the merch shop. We got hoodies, we got shirts, we got shirts, we got all kinds of stuff. I'll leave the link in the description below. I'll see you guys on the next adventure.